start recording. Point this back a bit. Okay, I'm Rick Lamont, and yeah, let, <laughs> let's stop that. It it takes a few tries. I'll try not to laugh at you. Hey, folks, I'm Rick Lamont, and I am here with my wife Becky. Hello. And we're doing our annual rewatching of the. 1944 Paramount classic, The Uninvited. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's, It might even be one of my top five island movies. Uh, we discovered this on, like, was it Turner Movie no, Classics? No, or like American Movie Classics. Yeah, something like, like the, that. It, it was We had it on VHS. We taped it from the TV. Yeah, this yeah. was a long time ago, <laughs> and we've watched it at least once every year since then and we've uh shown it to people who really really liked it you know we kind of exp we kind of thought it was sillier and just kind of goofy fun and so many people just really liked it okay well i didn't think it was like made of cheese until we started making other people watch yeah. it yeah <laughs> but then i showed it to some people and one friend <laughs> Went her, to town. <laughs> yeah, her, like, Twitch username is based on a line from the movie. <laughs> I, okay. I mean, she's taken it way, way overboard. Yeah. She really liked it. And not the only one. So, honestly, part of the reason I started doing reactions was because no one seems to have heard of this movie. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's been... I mean, it Quick. might it might be like more well known for the the soundtrack, the Stella by Starlight. Right. So when we get to the point where one of the characters is a composer yeah. and performer, the song that is part of the plot apparently charted. Yeah, it on, was way up there. You know, so it was people may recognize the song and have no idea what movie it was from. Yep, and it's <clears throat> I guess. 1944, so 80 years old about. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so part of the reason I started doing reactions was because I kind of want to share showcase, the yeah, sh <laughs> share the love for this show and maybe see some other people, uh, um, join yeah, the cult. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, yeah. So, uh, So anyway, let's start. And you have your cup of tea? I've got my cup of tea and you've got your cup of cocoa? I have my cup of very cheap cocoa because it was Swiss Miss with unicorn marshmallows and I got it on sale for $1.08. Worth every penny. So far, yeah. <laughs> I don't even like marshmallows and it's pretty good. Although I'm feeling slightly guilty that I'm sitting in a chair that is usually one of the cats or both of the cats chairs and I had to boot them to have this chair so I'm feeling slightly guilty I'm hoping I can lure them back the price we pay hey and there is a cat in this movie so watch for the there cat. is and a dog and a squirrel <laughs> and theoretically a lamb true so it's not really it's not really a thriller. It's kind of a romance. It's kind of a it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. It was part of a uh It's kind of noir, maybe? Yeah. The sequel, which we didn't know there was mm -hmm. until yesterday, it was considered noir. Well, but, I'll try to see if we can find that. And uh 1944, 1945, there were a bunch of uh, ghost story movies. And oh, it was a thing. It was, it a was, thing. It was it, yeah, it was kind of yeah. in vogue. And this was part of the reason, uh, part of the thing that started that trend. Mm -hmm. And this has really won some awards. It's. Um, they call them the haunted shores. These stretches of Devonshire and Cornwall and Ireland, which rear up against the Westwood Ocean. Now, Rick just informed me yesterday that this is filmed entirely in California. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I've perpetually thought it was filmed in the UK all these years. So, I mean, some of this might be um, stock, footage stock footage or B-roll yeah. where it was filmed 
actually in Cornwall, but mm. anything with an actor in it I mean, was... Well, anything with ocean. I mean, unless you know yeah. that ocean really well, you won't know. There, there's a lot of California coast. Yeah. And I think this is actually a model. Oh, the, the, yeah, like the tiny one? Yeah, the optical printing mm. to uh, kind of combine the two. What a marvelous old house. And I love 1940s men's suits with the... Uh, with the really high waist yeah. and a really short tie. Depending on the year, there may have still been fabric rationing oh going on but i mean oh 44 certainly in the uk i don't know if the u.s had i don't think we had um clothes rationing but that explains a lot of why things are shorter or tighter or yeah why the style changed no i hadn't thought about that and I wonder if it's a myth that the UK has never had rabies, because if I got bit by a squirrel... The other things you can get. Mm. Just basic strep. Mm. Rick, have you noticed anything? It's the loveliest thing I ever saw. Some of the windows being open, it's in fantastic yeah. <laughs> shape. <laughs> yeah, there should be, like, way more leaves and stuff in there. Well, let's see the rest of this. Come on, Rick, let's pretend we're buying. How lovely. Why does it make me feel I'm on a boat? It's the light on the ceiling. That's the sea. It's rather nice to wake up and see that. Yeah, the lighting in general in this show is really good. Some of the practical lights, mm. or the candles, it's, it's stuck. You try it. are just amazing. Very old school, but very effective. Or was it very innovative for the time? I think that kind of thing was... I know the, the special effects that eventually show up were pretty... Oh, they were revolutionary. They, yeah, they, and they'd held up well. The, yeah. Yeah. Rick. What? I've had I one, one of my th feelings. <laughs> we're really going to buy this house. Oh, yes? Did what? your feeling tell you what you're going to buy it with? Well, we know he has a job. I'm wondering if downstairs when they were talking about their mom and getting really sad, I'm wondering if they, if she has a bit of an inheritance from right. mom and that's the money she's going to spend. Down here, you'd write your own music, as you always should have done. Oh, Rick, it isn't as if you were even a good music critic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back. Tell me how you really feel. Anyway, how many other places for sale? Oh, Rick, life isn't as cruel as that. It's got to <laughs> oh, be. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> I love his car. Although you just, you kind of just have to go with it that they're siblings. And it's like. Sometimes I forget. And just think that they're BFFs. I don't ever get like a dating sense. Yeah. yeah. A romantic, but yeah. No. Won't you come now, this in? is Gail Russell in one of her first. She was in the sequel. Oh, okay. One of her credited roles. She's not very old. And if you want to be really depressed, look up her Wikipedia page. Yeah. She wasn't a trained actress. No. And she yeah. she turned to alcohol to help with her nerves, and it, it didn't end well. And she is actually American. Do you mind? Oh, no. We're an awfully unsmoking house. <gasps> We're an awfully unsmoking house. <laughs> Grandfather had a cigar blown straight down his throat once when he was on the foredeck. He lost his taste for tobacco. Well, we wanted to talk to the commander about a house he owns on top of the cliff. Windward? Yes. You see, we've fallen head over heels in love with... Mm. It just might just do. do for us. <laughs> well, what is it? Well, we heard the Windward house is for sale. Yes, it is. Grandfather, please. I thought I made myself quite clear on this point, Stella. But it was my mother's house. It... But look at her shadow, how crisp and perfect it is. That's a big door. They just don't do lighting like that anymore. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid 1,200 pounds are absolute limit. We should look up the exchange rate. Yeah. <laughs> for what that would have actually been in spending power. And I suspect property prices have far exceeded the rate of inflation. And you'd not be nervous in such a lonely house? No, indeed. Or of the wind at nights? It plays odd tricks in old houses. <laughs> trying to tell us the house is haunted i had some tenants five years ago who complained of disturbances title deeds and checks will be exchanged by our solicitors it's wonderfully simple to buy a house isn't it 
I mean, you can't even rent an apartment that easily. <laughs> True. Nowadays. Did the old boy tell you why it was locked? Never thought to ask him. The old boy. <laughs> oh, what a room. <laughs> what a view. Now we know. The one ugly room in the house. Well, they put that in later to make it paint a studio. Even the view doesn't cheer it up. They do a really good, good job of selling that a beautiful room just feels cold and miserable. Mm. Convincing us that it's... Yeah, because yeah. I look at that and, and it's... And it's like, sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> I suddenly felt completely flattened. Do you suppose I'll ever be able to write any music here? Or yeah, anywhere? that mood shift. What on earth are you talking music. about? Yeah. I said, Pamela, you're not going to get scared of this ghost business, are you? Oh, there's the first effect. Yeah. Me? Oh, disturbances wouldn't disturb me, not for a single second. <laughs> <laughs> Is Pamela the voice of reason? Nerves of steel. And I identify with Rick. Oh, so <laughs> a little too very much. much. Oh. Mm. It's like the old boy's granddaughter. <laughs> she <laughs> could wear a hat. <laughs> That's what I do Morning, say. <laughs> Isn't this Windward House? Oh, maybe you're the new owner. The last lot that lived there weren't no good. Got out of their lease, starting ugly stories about the place. Oh, so that's how the rumor started. That's what I do say. Of course, there are others say different. There are? Well, that's only natural. After the way the lady of Windward House died. How did she die? Fell off the cliff. Accident. <laughs> That's, That's what, what I do say. <laughs> That's Angela Lansbury's mom. Oh, but she does. They do kind of look. Yeah, they you really do. It's, un yeah. Uh, it's an uncredited role, but mm. she was very famous in her day in theater. My behavior was inexcusable. Your grandfather made you apologize, didn't he? Oh no, it was my mother. I kept looking at her last night, thinking how I'd let her down. But isn't your mother dead? Her portrait hangs in my room. My father painted it. Oh, then it was his studio. Let's go for a walk. She's too young for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be a back lot. Mm, cobblestone. Yeah, I can't imagine there's... I mean, your basic generic village. Yeah. yeah, there can't be too many places on the California coast that look like that. Mm. What are you doing today, for instance? Oh, just things. Facts, details, come on. Grandfather and I are reading Dickens. You're not going to do any of those things. I have a much better idea. Lake House is actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this better than reading to Grandfather? Ever get seasick? <laughs> Fortunately, I have a stomach like Gibraltar. <laughs> Questioning our <laughs> reliance on. <laughs> Just wondering if our national confidence in Gibraltar isn't misplaced. I don't know that I've actually smelled mimosa. I haven't either. Hmm. That uh, one well watch we went on. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody. Yes. Smells good. That's mimosa. It was my mother's favorite perfume. My father sent me a bottle before he died. You know, you would never know that she was untrained and so nervous in front of a camera. She's doing a good job. Yeah. But at what cost? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and there were some scenes where they literally did like a or, dozen plus takes. Yeah. I mean, everybody has to start somewhere. Yeah. Wonderful like this, all loose and free and windblown. You're too old for her. I hope you have a nice trip. Oh, I'll take you home first. You're so late starting. Might as well. Yeah, if he was in a big rush, he wouldn't have gone out. On a boat, yeah. Yeah. It's such a cute little car. <laughs> Oh, the gratuitous use of She's a mansion, so tis. Irish maid, cook, housekeeper. Yeah. Bobby, 
Oh, Bobby. Where's our Bobby? Oh, don't, Rick. Oh. What's the matter? Something happened to him? It was nothing tragic. He just wandered away. I suppose I haven't enough dog appeal. No, seriously, Pam. Look at Whiskey now. He knows where the food is. Whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, tell me, uh, what does Stella think of the changes? You mean Stella Meredith? Mm-hmm. I haven't set eyes on her. You haven't? I did write and ask her to tea. Got a reply from the commander, if you please. Well, I expect it's us. We just aren't nice to know. But that's not Stella. She was crazy to make friends with you. She told me. Rick, where did you see her? Hmm? Oh, uh, just before <laughs> I left for London. <laughs> Why, you colossal bluff. You were just as sorry for that child as I was. Oh, stop pushing her into the nursery. She's 20. She said so herself. You like Too her? Too young. <laughs> I mean, he's, what, at least mid-30s? Well, we don't actually know. Yeah. The, the, the old movie star thing where, you know, anybody could be between the ages of 20 and 60. <laughs> sort of the opposite of how any 30-year-old actor can play a high school student. Mm. Well, adults all tended to dress like adults. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't so much a dress. I mean, unless you were like a child child. <laughs> Haven't I carried you enough this day? Give them up now. I'll give them a start. <laughs> Why in the name of all the saints. Practical lighting. For <laughs> the flickers, it, it, well, yeah. It's basically just lit by candlelight. Candle's awfully close to his. Yeah, fire <laughs> safety doesn't seem yeah. to be the highest priority. Pam, is that you? Yeah, I think there they uh, timed turning on a light. With the lighting of the candle? Yeah. But the shadows carry much of the scene there. Mm, ambiance, the yeah. kind of unsettling. It's coming from downstairs. It comes from everywhere and nowhere. Now take hold of yourself, Pam. <laughs> I'm going down and search the place. Rick, I've searched. There's never anything there. There's a logical explanation for this. Such as? Well, you can't expect me to give it to you offhand. It stands to reason. Be calm, Pam. Be calm. It dies away at dawn. Pam, leave your door open in case you're nervous. All right, Rick. Mm -hmm. I'm here now, and I'm not the least rattled. Not the least little bit in the world. It's just silly to be upset. <laughs> Yeah, I identify with his bravery. <laughs> A perfectly appalling sound of crying. When did the noises start? You inherited the house, I believe. From my grandmother. And there were no disturbances there in her time? None. And if there are noises now, they're from perfectly natural causes. An echo from Do a subterranean pass? cave, mm -hmm. perhaps. But that would have been heard in your grandmother's day. The erosion may have changed the structure of the cliffs. It's not a bad suggestion. I'm awfully glad you're better. Stella merely suffers with a general delicacy. <laughs> she doesn't accept invitations. A general delicacy. Was Stella's mother ever troubled at Windward House? Did she hear the crying? My daughter was not one to circulate ridiculous rumors. And the trouble must have begun since her death. <laughs> you mean to imply... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm only trying to set the date. Good heavens, I didn't mean that your daughter haunts these. How <laughs> dare you suggest such a thing? Really, Commander, I'm most desperately sorry. Please forgive me. I mean, how do you... How do you say something Your like that without... Your property doesn't establish a social bond between us. <laughs> Snob! Stella is not going inside that house. Great Scott. You believe the place is haunted. Okay, I could buy That's California. Oh, I hoped you'd come along. I wanted to talk to you. Quick, drive around the next corner. Get in. Turn here. Would you and your sister be in if I came to Windward tonight? Yes. Hop down. He's passing the end of the lane. He's gone. How will I ever get to church? Well, sit on the floor of the car and I'll drive you past him. Mm. 
Drive to the side gate, please. Yes. No, thank you. <laughs> what would he have done if he had said yes? Oh, what a moment. Were you scared? <laughs> yes, but it was wonderful. Yeah, it does almost seem more like she's a love-struck teenager, you know. Yeah. And, you know. Enthralled with the new boy in town. Yeah, well, with the older, mm. sophisticated guy, you know, who's paying her attention. Paying attention to her. She's the freshman and he's the senior. Yes. Not really the basis for a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. I do not consider it suitable for you to visit Winwood House. Not suitable? I can't discuss the matter. Then that's all the reason I'm going to get from you? It will have to suffice, yes. No, Grandfather. I'm 20 and I'm, I shall go to Winwood whenever I please. Did you hear what I said? It isn't any good, Grandfather. I'm on strike. Stella, <laughs> go to your room. No use trying to lock me in. There isn't any key. <laughs> yeah, like, put the 20 year old on timeout. A little bit of sass. Don't be late, miss. I'm having ever such trouble with the lamb. You'd better, better tell, tell the, the commander. commander. <laughs> Best line in a movie ever in five. <laughs> you try to hurry the call. Thank you. I'm telephoning. Close that door. It's just that dinner will be late, sir. It's the lamb being be an awkward. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Never mm -mm. not funny. May I speak to Miss Holloway? I think this part of the story is kind of like a, not a tangent, but it's kind of, this is when it stops being yes, like Commander Beach. the straightforward romance or mystery. Or even just kind of the simple, yeah, ghost yeah. story. This is what it becomes a thriller. Isn't it a little late? Yeah. Insult me about Stella? You're the only human being in the world to whom I can turn. The only person who wouldn't think me demented because I believe a house can be filled with malignity. How glad this house must be to be lived in again. Well, I must dash back to Lizzie. We're fighting over how much sherry you'll put in a tipsy pudding. She wants to make it dead drunk. <laughs> because, of course, she does. <laughs> The Irish stereotype. <laughs> Not inside, but I walked here once when I was ten and peered in at the windows. And the next week I got packed off to a school in Brussels. Did your grandfather give you any reasons? If I'd ever been reasoned with, I might have been a better child. I do wonder what color her dress would be in real life. Yeah. I don't think it's white, but a pastel of some kind. Y oh, yeah. This is where my father painted my mother's picture. But sometimes, of course, he'd paint the other one. He had a model, you know. A foreign girl. Between you and me and the grand piano, I suspect father was a bit of a bad hat. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the song that hit yeah, uh, the chart. Uh, I want to say at a later time, another composer added lyrics. That sounds right. I don't think I've ever heard it with the lyrics, though. I mean, I don't know that I've heard it outside of this movie. Mm. Please go on. Just a second. You made that up? Yes. But you must be brilliant. Oh, dazzling. People have to wear sunglasses. <laughs> What's it called? It's Stella by Starlight. But it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Is it? Please go on. Dun, dun, dun. gone awfully sad. Why have you changed it? Just came out that way. What's the matter? What is it, Stella? You're trembling. Oh, I was wicked. How could I ever have laughed in her house? Stella! I don't know, it's that blasted rope. Stella, stop! What's the matter, Rick? You were going over the edge. I think this is where my mother fell. By the dead tree. We took a birdie, la la la. We took a birdie. Stay here. Lizzie, where are you? What's the matter? What is it, Lizzie? Are you hurt? Cute your door. 
There's something there. And this is when I start getting chills. <laughs> it was like a mist, a crawling mist. Oh, you imagined it just because you heard the house was haunted. But you heard nothing of the sort, Mr. <laughs> Roderick. Are you telling me it is? <laughs> for heaven's sake, Rick, what is it? Oh, Lizzie's dreamed up a ghost for herself. It was a woman, I swear it. The ghost of a woman. I'll not sleep in this house another night, Mr. Roderick. She can go to the Jessup farm. Stella? Stella, where are you? Spooky. Stella! Stella, darling. Rick, what is it? She's in a dead faint. Oh, this room is like an icebox. It's colder. You have to get a doctor. There's one at the first house in the village. That's a girl. Well, what kind of burger did you see? I can only remember the cold coming. But it's quite a nasty case of shock. That's all. You're quite sure. Take that neat. <laughs> Can't you stay the night here? Yeah? Oh, yes. But suppose that spook starts howling. Well, it's just an echo from a cave, probably, but it sounds like a spook. Oh, Pam, who do you think's moved in with Dr. Scott? Our Bobby. No. I found the poor dog in the street one day. He was in a pitiable state of nerves. Oh. Bobby was the very first to see the ghost. You see, Pamela believes it. Oh, Rick, stop hiding your head in the sand. <laughs> you heard the sounds last night. Oh, everyone in the village knows the house is strange. <laughs> I expected support from you. You must tell us everything you know about the place. Well, unfortunately, I'm a newcomer to Biddlecombe. You see, I've only lived here 12 years. <laughs> the model's name was Carmel. She was Spanish, a Spanish gypsy, and a thorough bad lot. So was Meredith, from what I can gather. Well, didn't Mrs. Meredith suspect? Oh, she must have. The thing was an open scandal. And she's still sobbing her heart out about it. Well, where's Carmel now? Dead. She died in this very house a week after Mary fell from the cliff trying to save her from suicide. Think of it, those two women struggling on the cliff. All of them dead with their secrets. Well, one of them's not quite dead enough for me. I tell you, Rick, if a spirit comes back, it's for some particular purpose. What time's your wailing lady due? About dawn. We ought to know each other pretty well by then. <laughs> Isn't he smooth? <laughs> yes, morning Martha seems to have missed her cue. Rick, have you brought some more flowers in? Don't you notice the scent? It's overpowering. Heliotrope, isn't it? No, it's mimosa. There's a light. Where did that come from? It does add a little extra creepiness that you know there's no electricity. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see the dawn with her. Her? It's my mother. I didn't see her. She was here in the room. It was full of a scent, and there was something else. The knowledge that someone loved me very dearly. Now, come on, young Stella. I'll take you home. But I can come back. No. I tell you, my mother would never hurt me. It's pretty missed. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Rick. Perhaps she's nearer right than we are. Supposing Mary Meredith's spirit had been searching for Stella, and now that it's found her, it's found peace. Suppose we haven't a ghost anymore. I'll know whether it's a decent human room. Mm. It may not be quite so cold, mm. really. Oh, stop it, Pam. It's clammy and rotten. Whatever it is, it's in here with us. You were right about one thing, Pam. We, have we haven't a ghost. a ghost anymore. We've got two of them. <laughs> Miss Stella's in her room, sir. Uh, Rick. Stella. Yeah, the housekeeper is move. in favor of <laughs> the Did you come to take me to Winwood? You mustn't go there again, ever. Listen, darling. I'm still convinced that only British people can say darling in a sentence and not sound ridiculous. I mean, even now, you know, if... Yeah, if I the, mean, except for the... Um, at a diner or something like no, that. that. Well, that, yeah, Darlin. Darlin. Darlin is different than darling. Fair. You know, or honey or sweetie or. But it's, I don't know, it just doesn't roll off the American tongue. Darling. <laughs> you talk about destroying that house. You'd be tearing me apart. Do you care for me or don't you? I can't think about you, not while she's out there. Take me there, Rick. I'll go there some. You won't, I promise you. I hate you for that. You shan't make me forget her, you shan't. Yeah, consent, dude. <laughs> I didn't question him very closely about where he belonged. 
You see, I was afraid I might find out. Oh. Sorry now. You're sorry? Yes, uh -huh. I'd have met you sooner. Scott, you've got to do something about that girl. She's on the edge of a nervous collapse. You're telling me. Can't you convince her her mother wouldn't want her to go near that blasted house? We could hold a seance. Oh, yeah, because seances always go so well. <laughs> Many intelligent people believe in spiritualism. Yeah, by the 40s, I think spiritualism had, well, yeah. had kind of died out, but... Uh, was less in vogue. Yeah. It, but there's always been fringy. But what do you expect Mary Meredith to tell her? Entrust your life to a tall, dark man, excruciatingly handsome. Oh, crikey, no. I want to just tell his mind at rest. <laughs> Unless the conflict inside her is stopped, it may even affect her reason. <gasps> well, here's a message that might do it. Stella, this is your mother. Since I found you, I found peace. Stay away from Windward House. It was at this point in the editing process that I began to run out of memory. Who knew that 16 gigabytes just wasn't quite enough? So I thought splitting the video into two would be easier on everyone. Easier on my video editing software, easier on my video editor, which is me, and even easier on you, the viewer. So this was the end of part one, and I hope you will join me in part two. Thanks.